All right, uh, let's look at the homework 6.4, uh, problem number 6. All right, so we want to find the uh, area of this unbounded region, right? So uh, let's do that. All right, so the area A uh, can be found by, uh, we have an improper integral, right? So you can see that uh, this region uh, keeps on going in the negative direction. So we're going to have to come from negative infinity. And it looks like it's going to end at uh, x equals 0, so to 0. All right, so function is uh, 2 over, all right, I'm going to write this uh, this way, 2, all right, and the 1 minus x is in the denominator, so we have uh, negative power, and the square root is equivalent to 1 half power, all right? So we have uh, dx here, all right? So I'm going to use the uh, general power rule to uh, find the antiderivative. But before we do that, I'm going to uh, uh, do, uh, you know, uh, change it to uh, limit. All right. So the problem is uh, we're having a negative infinity here. So I'm going to change that to a. So you have an integral from a. All right. Let's see. It's a 0. And a is approaching negative infinity, right? And then uh, we have, uh, let's see, negative infinity, right? Then uh, we have uh, 2, and uh, we have, uh, let's see, 1 minus x raised it to half, let's see, whoops, hold on a sec, uh, negative 1 half, right? Then we have a uh, dx, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use the uh, general power rule. So derivative of this inside function is negative 1. So I would like to have a negative 1 here. Then I'm going to put the, uh, actually, maybe I'm going to use a different color here. All right. So I'm going to put uh, negative 1 here. All right. But we have to compensate that by putting a negative sign in, in front so that we don't change anything. And uh, so that's that, all right? So uh, let's uh, find the antiderivative from there. So you have a negative uh, limit as a approaches negative infinity by general power rule. So there's two was already there, so I put that in, all right? So antiderivative is going to be add one to the power. So it's going to be negative one half plus one is positive one half. And divide by 1 half is equivalent to multiply by 2. So I'm going to put 2 in front. All right. Then you're going from uh, a to 0. All right. Then what you get is, let's see, there's a 4 here. So I'm going to uh, take this 4 and put it outside. So it becomes a negative 4. And then we take the limit as a approaches negative infinity, all right? Then this is going to be just a square root of 1 minus x. So if you plug in 0, it's going to be square root of uh, 1, which is going to be 1, minus, uh, if you plug in a, so it's going to be a square root of uh, 1 minus a, all right? So we have that, all right? As a approaches negative infinity, so you have a 1 minus negative infinity, so 1 plus infinity is still going to be a big number. Then taking, taking a square root is still going to be a, ne a, a, a big number. Uh, but the, there's a negative sign, so it's going to be going to negative infinity. So this guy right here is going to negative infinity, right? So negative 4 times negative infinity is going to be a positive infinity. So you're going to get um, positive infinity, All right? So let's type in. All right, we get the positive infinity. So let's see, symbols maybe, infinity. All right, so let's check the answer. Some beautiful testing. All right, uh, I'm sorry about that. I, I lost the internet connection, but the, the answer is correct. So if you put the, uh, infinity there, uh, it's the correct answer. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.